Welcome everyone, it's Asia Marke here, Lemon Creation. Today I have for you art journal page, which I prepared for an uh, ongoing Instagram challenge with art poetry. Uh, and uh, if you want to know something more about the challenge, please stay tuned. Let's start with art journaling. So I'm working on a mixed media paper. Uh, this is a page from my butterfly art journal. So as you know, or as some of you know, um, this is a journal I am actually making and selling in my online shop. And it's very cool because you can take away the pages from it. They are attached by elastic and you can like that work on the flat surface. And I'm gonna be using my newest uh, stencil, Entangle uh, World with, of course, cream paste from Stamperia. This is my mm, all-time favorite lately. So I'm staying uh, true to it. And uh, I am just um, putting the stencil almost all over the page. This page is gonna have almost no uh, negative space, no white space. As I mentioned before, uh, I am doing the, that page for the ongoing Instagram challenge created by uh, Tracy Hickman, Anonymous Palette and Natalie Orlasher uh, in cooperation with Art uh, Poetry and all the info you're gonna get in the description box and also at the end of this video there are some posters when you can see we have really really wonderful sponsors uh for this challenge and there is a lot of uh goodies to win every week and this is by far uh one of the biggest if it comes to sponsors and uh the whole idea uh, challenge and hope i took part uh in and uh as i mentioned you're gonna find all the info at the end of the video so please uh, have that have a look at that and right now what you've seen i added magicals to my page so I sprinkle them and then I add some water. Uh, for the full list of colors, once again, check my description box. And this is Blazing Black. This is um, a spray from Lindy's without any shine. So it's gonna be black on the page. Uh, when I'm stenciling, I really like to use uh, black or gray um, sprays or just sprays which are contrasting with other colors, which are more strong and uh, like that you know adding them and then spraying a little bit with water it makes them to actually run and stay uh, in these nooks and crannies uh, of uh, of your stencil and uh, modeling paste and giving uh, a little bit of uh, more contrast uh, you know more kind of deepness to the page which i love I'm gonna add some stamping. There is not that much place to actually add some stamping, but I wanted uh, to add something in those places when there is no um, uh, modeling paste or cream paste in this case. And I have to say to you that uh, this is the first time I use this stencil and uh, with these colors on top of that, and I absolutely love it. This is the stencil from a Polish company, Piątek 13, or you can find it, I think, by typing P13, uh, uh, this is what it means in Polish, uh, Friday, 13 of Friday, or Friday 13th rather. And I absolutely love, I've never uh, had any of their products, but I absolutely love this, uh, uh, this stamp. I've seen it and I said to myself, I have to buy it. It's kind of in industrial, uh, so, you know, <laughs> this is something really for me. And I'm using stays on because I was not sure at this point if I'm gonna add some colors. Uh, once again, it stays on its permanent ink. So if you add color later on, if you add water or other medias, uh, mediums, uh, it's gonna actually uh, stay and it's not gonna run. Uh, like, uh, for example, distress oxides would because they are actually not permanent. So this is something for you to, you know, think about if you are starting uh, with, uh, you know, with your uh, whole art journal, mixed media, um, adventure <laughs> this is a great ink to use and i have this uh, circle thingy <laughs> no idea what to, how is that called uh, i added some circles uh, you know me i love absolutely love circles i used i think white pen yes it's a white pen from uh, mm, signo or signo and I just kind of uh, randomly add the circles. Well, not maybe randomly in clusters. And, uh, you know, I couldn't put them everywhere anyway because I had this modeling face already. So, you know, I can actually put them only on the flat surface. And just to add a tiny bit more interest because I was missing uh, my stamping. I was thinking the stamping is not super visible. 
I added uh, this beautiful uh, washi tape from uh, Holland Create. Uh, I just place it in uh, on the flat surface of the uh, art journal page. A very important part of my uh, creative process is also uh, darkening the edges of the paper. I don't do it often, but uh, if I see there is something missing, like the contrast on the sides, basically, I'm just always, uh, you know, looking for contrast because contrast gives you uh, gives your pages so much more interest, and it's also much easier to take uh, the page uh, which has some contrast in it on uh, the photos. It looks much nicer. So sometimes when I think that something is missing, I try to ink the edges. And that's what I've done also with this girl, which is Fussy Cat. And I ink uh, her edges because they are white. And the page is quite dark, so I prefer that, you know, she doesn't have these white edges. I just used, uh, I think it was um, a calligraphy pen you know, with the chisel tip. And uh, once again, as for this challenge, I made three uh, projects and for Three of them I used, uh, I think, anyway, <laughs> as far as I remember, I used elements, uh, hard elements from my book uh, Funky and Wet. And uh, in, in this case also the girl is uh, kind of holding a, um, holding a heart in her hand. Okay, uh, the heart is not very visible. Uh, I didn't, uh, in other projects I made them very visible, so this one I wanted to kind of make it uh, a little less visible. And, uh, you know, um, She's not holding it really well, you know. She her uh, her hand is not really um, display in a way that she's holding a heart, but I still decided to just add it there. I added some white sp uh, splatter with uh, snowflakes acrylics uh, from uh, this is chalk acrylics from Paper Artsy. Lindy's Gang and Paper Artsy are uh, two of our sp uh, sponsors. And I added a, a quote from my really messy words, and that's the finished page. And if you just wait a second after the photos, after the close-ups, you're gonna get all the info, in, all all the information. I'm sorry uh, for the challenge, which is uh, still going on. You have still four more weeks to take part in it. Uh, we don't ask for much, and uh, as I said, <laughs> they are really great uh, perks of taking part uh, in our challenge. Uh, for now, that's it from me. Thank you so much for subscribing and for checking out my uh, online shop. And I wish you all a beautiful day and see you in my next video. Bye bye. Oh, 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 oh,